says I got a SMS today uh, from an individual you see here who is gesturing that uh, there was no address listed under my package. <clears throat> I'm not going to say this is impossible. He claims it's only written Postal Services of Slovenia. So that really is bizarre because these people had so many packages if it's from one express they already had them delivered to me at the front door and it appears to me they failed to deliver those at the regular postal office in the city of the Novo Mesto. Other than that my address is listed under absolutely every uh, packaging always there's a list that everything is normal what's interesting is for as much as I want and I'm not capable to send this individual an SMS it seems like there is no way to contact this guy somehow so I'm trying to ask him who are you and it says the contact does not exist so when I write the message and uh, I send him a message it basically looks like this So, um, never mind, uh, maybe I have to change the messenger, maybe something is wrong with my, with my telephone, I have no clue. Um, anything is possible because I'm paying this prepaid phone and so that kind of stuff is possible. So, um, it works, I make phone calls, but... Um, you know, then again, uh, you really never know. I'm going to go back here and see if this is going to do it. But uh, before, before him, I got this message here, which is from Express One Slovenia. And it's really insane because what you see above already, um, I did present you with this issue here, February the 21st, where these two messages that you see right there, this is the watch basically. Uh, and maybe it's really not the watch. The watch already was delivered long, long, long time ago. So this is yet another package, who knows what. And then there is another message, which is identical also from One Express, gesturing me the same fucking message, basically. The package will be delivered between 8 and 1800 hours. Follow our package through the internet page, such and such. This is fucking crazy. Uh, and then it says, identical to the one above, it says, a package not delivered, uh, the unknown address of receiver, please make sure through our portal. Um, how would that be possible since these people have delivered at my address at doors already? And since I have listed the main postal office of the Novo Mesto as an address, I do not know. Um, I think they have a problem, really, really big problem. I don't know. Um, at one time, it took them three months, I think, to throw me the package. Uh, I rather damaged uh, at the desk 
at the entrance to the house. They didn't even bother to place it inside of the post box. So they are very wild people. These people here at this one express at this uh, Austrian postal services who also figure out they are not going to stay on the Slovenian market. That this um, government Austrian postal service is gestured during MK Ultra, they will not remain on the Slovenian market. It looks to me like for obvious reasons. So, feel just as if they are here to trash, basically. You know, just as they are, if, if they are here basically to trash. You know. Give assistance to Slovenian government or something like that in doing and stuff like that. So, it's insane, really. Nobody knows what fucking package, where, who, what, how. Wild. Really, really wild shit. Um, this thing here is not being delivered because I remember this guy. He had me at his house. I think he's the same guy because there's no way to contact one. And um, what he does is after 8 o'clock, like after 8 p.m., he disconnects his phone from what I recall. So, I don't know. Maybe he should not disconnect the fucking telephone. And I should say maybe he should just set the telephone on loudness, you know, like something so that it doesn't disturb you. Um, disconnect basically notification and uh, that kind of stuff in respect to SMS and phone calls. But I don't think that he should really do that kind of stuff because it's not too much professional. I know I wouldn't do that stuff. I know that the first thing in the morning when I would get up uh, drinking coffee, I would be checking basically SMS and that kind of stuff. Because this is basically how the day starts, no? Doesn't it? Especially if you contact the customers. Come on, man. Yeah, this is not precisely the guy I was... Um, and I'm just using as the description of the guy, what the guy is like, you know, this guy. Talking about this guy here. Um, this guy, this guy is, um, let me see that. He is something in between this here, in between this here. He looks more like this, like the guy you see here, you know. He is about like a hundred and eighty five centimeters, hundred and eighty seven centimeters tall. This guy talking about the guy who was trying to send me SMS, but his brother is much smaller and it looks like something like this. And uh, he does have a house in uh, actually somewhere towards Shmarieshka to Plitza, something like this, Kronovo, something like this in that area. That's basically his from, and his wife is a blonde, you understand? So he's got a children and he also made a new house, I think. So basically this is the identification of the guy that not supposed to work for this company here, he not supposed to work for One Express. He not supposed to work for this, according to this girl here, whom I have interacted with. So this is why I don't understand really what the fuck is going on with this stuff. I don't like this. On August the 14th, 2023 was the first time when we have a lot of problems. And the same thing, I started to contact these people, I didn't know what the hell, how to, where, where to meet them, what to, how to satisfy them. So what I did was, I started to identify the people over there, and basically what their place looks like, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, 
So the lady who got in touch with me, his name is Neja, is this lady here whom I have also identified. I have identified her, you know, this, when she got a job, what her workplace looked like, what is she by profession, and all that kind of stuff I did. She never answered to me back. She never confirmed or whatever it would be. She started the job sometimes. Pripravnishko and so on. It goes all the way to 2002. Pripravnishko, you know? At this location, it's what I think. I sort of gave her description of her workplace. 2002, 2004, she probably started working there full time, something like that, you know? So I tried to do my best and imagine she told me that whenever the things go wrong at their company, which there was no one express yet at the time, whatever company she used to work for before the one express, she told me this is when I hire like a contract guy, him. So this guy not supposed to work directly for One Express unless the things changed. Before this, he would be a subcontractor from whatever company this Neja used to work for. So that's all there is, that's all there is. And I have had to go through a whole lot of bullshit had a lot of stuff stolen to tell you this because it's very important, you know. For who? For me? For me, not. For somebody else? Yes. So his brother, more or less, would look like this, and he is more sturdy, and he looks more or less something like this, you know. So there you have it, I give you. His brother would be about maybe like 178 centimeters, something like that, and is more sturdy. And this guy should be about like 187, 188 centimeters. He's taller. Now, I think his brother might even have like a darker hair or something like that. So that's all there is to it. This is it. This is the stuff. He does have a children and so on. Um, I wouldn't say many children, but probably I would say, I estimate, I think two. It's just we, I just want to make sure that you see the date and time when I mentioned this stuff here. Um, so, look at me. There's not going to be any conspiracy theories, right, about that kind of stuff. Identified, absolutely. So, here we are. Uh, this is how things are developing. Uh, I got two things have happened. One was the SMS. Um, the SMS, I got a day earlier. Uh, you're going to see that. And here is the message I received from AliExpress in respect to the watch, to the mentioned watch. Uh, they claim that um, the watch is at the postal office and it's waiting for my collection already since january 18 of 2024 uh, the, the number can be also tracked at 15827 something in website uh, please contact your post office and get your item soon if there is no item there please ask for official documents from your post office to prove the parcel was lost within two days. 
Um, what? Uh, please, uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna say to AliExpress, please, don't give me any kind of ultimatums. You have no idea how much time I lost on your blunders, on your deliberate blunders. Don't give customer like myself any kind of ultimatums. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Note that the official documents. I wasn't at the postal office only. You got to go over my blog and see how many videos. And they say what? They say January 18. All right. So I'm going to put more audio recordings. That's going to go to a new year if I have to. In respect to my visitations to the post office. We can do that. It's not a problem. We're going to do that stuff too. I, I lost this fucking watch. This fucking watch costed me thousands of dollars, if not more than that. Far more than that. It costs me life. I could use for other issues. Like visiting physicians and what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch claimed would be my being forced to eat food like my father eats at home for elderly people to replenish to nourish my body which he claimed would become completely exhausted exhausted yet yeah, because they cause damage to the liver to the kidney to the pancreas so those no longer properly even break food supplements vitamins and so on that body needs he claimed me I would be eating the same kind of food that my father gets at home for elderly people through the tube. That's an artificial food which he proceeded. He went on to compare one with a diarrhea with the police officers. He, demonst he repeatedly demonstrated me diarrhea and he demonstrated to me the food that my father gets at home for elderly people. I sure could use time rather than you're representing him and doing everything possible to get me injured more for other issues. So don't fucking patronize me here about the dates, how much I have to visit postal office and satisfy your needs. Please note the official documents should contain tracking number, postmark on it, only can be original copy of one. Listen to this shit now. So if you're buying from AliExpress, chances are something like this, even you would have to go through. And that makes the most expensive watch in the history of the world. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation, which is highly appreciated, and we hope you have a great experience shopping with the AliExpress. What can I say? I already have. The individual, from what I know, is, and that's basically the way it works that's why this lady from one express now now became one express yes stated to me she said to me well if we have a problems so what we do is we have a um a customer that is delicate customer or whatever we give him to deliver the packages the thing is that this individual doesn't work only for one company but he delivers the company for various companies. Who knows? Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think he, he does it for DHL. But I think he is a subcontractor also for other private delivery companies. Uh, so either way, the description of the individual that I gave you, he's not going to get away with it. Is basically what I'm trying to say. The house, The house he built, I think, the house goes back like in 2008, something like this, from what I recall. The new house I'm talking about, 
I think it's new. I think it's not uh, refurbished. Uh, I should say rebuilt, um, renovated, something like that. I think he had, he made a new house. So uh, this is the individual, yeah. What he stated to me is something else also. Because of the problems, because of the legal problems and so on, that he would consult with One Express and would most likely use number which either would be like only one time a number where he would call me from. He did not answer, not even today when I gave him a phone calls, when I sent him a SMS messages, he did not answer. And or would use a number that he would occasionally reactivate, like basically something like a prepaid or something in that sense. You understand me what I'm saying? So that's why especially it's important for me also to note the telephone number that you see the telephone number. It's going to be used as a proof. It's another form of proof. I don't care about that stuff. That one is not registered under his name is what I'm trying to say is what he stated me. That's like serious admission of guilt. 